So what can we expect in the week ahead? Joining us for a closer look at the Summit of Americas is Al Jazeera's David Ariasto. He's reported throughout Latin America and will be attending the Panama Summit next week. Great to see you, David. Certainly will be an historic event. But the looming question here now that Cuba's invited, what's next? Well, this is, this is going to be a highly choreographed moment here. The, the expectation was that they, they might be able to raise each other's flags in the respective capitals in both Havana and Washington. That is becoming increasingly doubtful that that's going to happen. They're going to get the paperwork in time. It, it seems to be very much just a bureaucratic issue. The other issue on the table that Cuba really wants is to get off that state sponsors of the terrorism list. This is something that they've been on for, for decades now. Um, it really is kind of the last pin... Uh, at least the last shoe to drop, so to speak, to, to allow that normalization of relations. Cuba needs American cash. I think that's kind of fundamental mm -hmm. to what we're talking about here. There's going to be a CEO summit that's tied to the Summit of Americas on Thursday and Friday. You'll have representatives from Coca-Cola, from Boeing. Um, Cuba needs this, this money. You know, in, in the wake of some of the falling oil prices, the subsidies that they get from Venezuela, they're cash strapped. And so they need some of those American either tourism dollars or some of that microfinance that President Obama had been talking about. And this summit promises to be a, a great opportunity and to cash in. And that's just it. We're in the very early stages here. There are major sticking points on both sides right. that we have to deal with. Do we expect, I know the White House says there's going to be an interaction, do we expect to sit down? Do we just expect a photo opportunity? You know, that's, two presidents. It's, a, it's a great question. If I, if I had the answer to that, uh, I think I'd be, be making more money than I am right now. But the expectation is, at least from, from inside sources, that there will be, obviously, be the handshake. Um, will there be something more than that? Will this actually be some sort of dialogue? President Obama has shaken the hand of President uh, Castro before at Nelson Mandela's funeral. He's also spoken to him on the phone. So this is not the first interaction between these two leaders. But this is an opportunity to get at the very tops of government to really start to drill down and find out what the nitty-gritty of the details with which the smaller or the, the lesser officials at the State Department and elsewhere will sort of iron out. But these groups of officials have met three times of already. Mm -hmm. Who knows how many times they've met prior to this, before the, the news was announced on, on December 17th. But uh, this is going to be a historic moment. It will be an historic moment. The focus will also be on human rights. How does President Obama address human rights and not step on uh, on the toes, if you will, of Cuba. This is this, this is going to be a big, big question, really. It's a, it's a huge question mark. I mean, Marco Rubio has, has announced that he's going to you know, announce a, a big announcement at the Freedom Tower in Miami mm -hmm. on the 13th. The Freedom Tower is obviously where um, refugees from Cuba came to the United States in the 1960s. It's held great significance. So you know he's going to be playing off the the. the he's going to choreograph this moment, trying to get that sh handshake of what President Obama and Raul Castro now. You're going to have dissident groups that are traveling from Havana to Panama City, and they're going to have a seat at the table as well. One of the, uh, the daughters of a dissident who was killed in 2012 was detained um, in Panama just over this weekend. So, so, you know, there could be some fireworks here. That coupled with uh, President Maduro from, from Venezuela, um, the sanctions that have been lobbed against his government by Obama, this is going to be a summit that uh, is going to be worth watching.